Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Isa and today I want to show you how you can create a beautiful cover page for your Vita Planner. So I'm using the dark version of the Vita Planner so that means that my background is this dark blue color. So here are the pages of my planner and of course my first page is my cover page and usually this is empty, you do have some links here at the bottom right and this is a page that I'm going to customize today. So I'm going to be using an app where I'm keeping all of my stickers. Unfortunately, this app has not yet been released to the Apple Store. I was just able to test it, but I'm loving it and I've been using it a lot. So I will show it to you because it will eventually be available in case you like it. And that's where I keep all of my stickers, my widgets, my inserts, as well as my planner covers. So I'm just gonna open this in a split screen view right next to my planner. And you can do the same with the Files app. So you can save all of your stickers, covers, elements to the Files app and create folders, even though it doesn't look as cool as it does on this app, but you could do that. And then you would also be able to bring that to the side so that you can just drag what you need into your planner. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is look for a cover. And I have all of my cover options here. I think that I actually want one of these composition book styles and I'm gonna pick this light blue. I will just adjust it, maybe tilt it a tiny bit, okay, and place it where I want it. And I'm going to close my stickers app for now and I just want to write something here. And I'm really bad at calligraphy, especially in good notes, but I'll try my best. Because you have this awesome image feature in GoodNotes and what that does is when you tap on it, you are able to click on any image and select it, resize it, reposition it. You don't necessarily need to use the lasso to do that. So what I've been doing is turning off the images option from the lasso menu and to open the lasso menu, you tap once to select it and then again and that will open this menu and then I turn off my images so I can freely move other objects around but not the image images and I did that because I want to copy this S and just paste it here maybe change the size a little bit and tilt it and this one is too big too so I'll just uh, resize it I think it's fine and I can move this whole thing so that I can write here plans and again why not I can paste the S you can see I'm a little bit lazy but this works so I'll just go and double up on my down strokes. And actually I used like a way too thick pen option. You can try with a thinner one, but that's okay for me. And I can now with my lasso adjust this to where I need it. I think that's fine. Now I will add my widgets. So open my app again where I keep my widgets and I'm gonna find my widgets folder, which is right here. I do like to add my calendar widgets and of course I'm going to use this first in January of 2021. So that is the one I'm gonna add here at the top. And I always like to have like a space to write something, a quote, something important that's going on. So for that I'm gonna use these widgets. Actually these ones are free, you can get them from the Facebook group. If you haven't joined, you can do it today. I'm gonna leave the link below. And if you do request to join, please don't forget to answer the questions as applications with unanswered questions don't get accepted. But anyway, I'm just gonna pull this widget here because I want it to say important. However, I'm not too happy about the purple color and I will show you you can change this and make this sticker be blue okay so I like this blue for example that says reminder but I wanted to say important that's why I'm using this one but stay tuned for my following video because I will teach you how you can edit this sticker okay I just need to maybe make this smaller so that if I add some stickers they they can fit and now let me think um, I'm going I don't know what I'm going to write here as I said, but in the meantime, I can add some words. And actually I like this one that says, I choose joy. So let me just find it right here. I just add it and place it in the middle. And now it's time to find some decorative stickers. So let me think, let me think. I saw some cool ones in my summer bundle. 
I mean, this has nothing to do with the beach, it's gonna be freezing in January, but I don't know, I just like the blue theme and stuff, so I'm going to find these stars, is what I was looking for. And obviously, I know my sets really well, so I know where everything is located and I can easily find what I'm looking for. But yeah, I just wanted these little stars, I think they look cute, and the color goes really well with the color of my planner. One thing, I feel kind of silly that I didn't know this for a long time, but if you select your image and then tap and hold on it and you just move it you get a copy of that sticker so that saves a ton of time I don't need to go here and drag another one and I also don't need to use my lasso to copy the sticker and paste it I can just select tap and hold drag and get a brand new sticker okay now I'm just going to resize my cover I can make it a little bit smaller and for that I do need to turn on my images option let me just close this for a little bit and I can select it all and then resize it to make it smaller because you know what? I do want to add more stickers. There we go. And move this somewhere like here. I think these are fine actually. We'll see. And go back to my app. I know I keep closing and opening it, but it's so easy to do it that I don't mind. Oh yeah, there's another cute set I have and I have it under nature. I have a ton of categories here, but I'm getting used to them and I'm kind of remembering where everything is and I love it. So this one here has some interesting stuff. So I'm gonna use these like, these are like rocks, underwater rocks, but I feel like they look like crystals or gems or something and I like it. So I'm just gonna use this, you know, for now. I think that it's gonna look interesting and also they're like this blue color again that looks really cool with my dark blue Vita planner something like that let's bring another one around here this is like a different style that I usually use but I think I like it and another one here as well to make this like a bigger rock something like this and now I'm just gonna go to my blackout sticker book because that sticker book specializes in light colored stickers that you can use in a dark background and that's exactly what I have on this planner so I'm going to open that book and I'm just gonna go to my shapes see what I find what I can use and look this little like branch thing that could be like a coral or just a branch I think it's gonna look cute here it's a very abstract cover I'm making, very artistic. Something else that's blue, maybe these dots. I don't want to like overdo it, but these are cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? Too much? Now I just need to bring my calendar to where I can see it. Something like this and bring these two over here. I feel like I'm missing something here, so let me see these. I like them, but you know what? It's too big, this sticker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap on it when it's selected and then crop freehand. And then I'm just going to like use these three shapes to get rid of the rest. Just like that. And I'm actually just going to copy this one, but just keep the bottom two this time. Resize. Something like that. Okay, lastly, I'm going to add an element that you get access to for free if you have purchased a Vita Planner this year of 2020. And so on your info page, which is like two pages to the right from your cover page, you will get a code at the top corner here on the dated planners or you'll get it around here in the undated planners but that code you can use it to download the stickers that I'm going to show you in a second for free so go do that if you want I think it's cool because it just helps you you know customize your planner a little bit more so right here at the end I have these like extras for my planners and I call these Vita dots so I'm gonna open that folder as you can see, I have my dots in different colors. So this particular planner runs from January to December. Remember, you can have it also running from July to June. So whichever version you are using, you will find a sticker set that matches that. So I just saved the ones from January to December because those are the ones that I'm using. So I'm gonna add them here. And actually, I don't need this app anymore. So I'm gonna close it. And now here, you just have to resize the sticker so that it fits exactly on top of the existing button. And the cool thing is that now my buttons are blue, so I customize them to match my spread. 
And what I was gonna say is that you can still click on any of the buttons. So go to my month of January, you can go to your index, and yeah, you can still navigate all of your pages because even though the sticker is on top of the buttons, you align them right so you can still click on them. Okay, now I'm looking at this and I feel like I need some more up, oh, no, some more of these flowers. So I'm just gonna copy them. A few more, I don't know, maybe just one more or two more and just add them here. Yeah. So what do you guys think of my cover? Do you like it? And now when I go out to my GoodNotes library, this cover is what I'm going to see for this planner. All right, so that was it for this video. I hope that you learned something new today. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. As usual, I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Don't forget to keep an eye out for my following videos because I will show you how you can edit this sticker. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and click on the bell to turn on the notifications so you know when there's a new video out. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.